Okay, lesson one. So today we're gonna to be going over the notes of the piano and how to name them. So uh, when you sit down at a piano for the first time, that's really the first thing that you have to figure out is just what are these notes called? So traditional pianos like the one I have, there's 88 keys. So 52 of them are white and then 36 of them are black. Um, now they do have some pianos that are smaller. So they have some that are like 76 keys and 62 keys um, and even smaller than that. So if you have a piano that's smaller, it doesn't matter because there's only 12 notes on a piano. It's just 12 notes and they keep repeating themselves up and down. And so what you do is you actually use the alphabet uh, to, to name those notes. So instead of saying, you know, one through 88, you're gonna use the alphabet. So seven of the notes are on the white keys and then five of them are on the black keys. So we'll start with the white first. So this is your A and it goes up the alphabet. It goes B, C, D, E, F, G. And then it starts back over at A. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And it keeps repeating all the way up. Now the same way, it goes backwards, the alphabet. So here's your A and go backwards to G, F, E, D, C, B, A. And it goes back to G, F, E, D, C, B, A. And it keeps going all the way down. So those are the seven white notes. And so black notes are a little bit tougher because there's actually two names for each note. Um, and the way it works is if it's if if a black note is to the right of a white note, it's called a sharp. And then if a black note is to the left of a white note, it's called a flat. So one black note can either be a sharp or a flat. So here's how it works. Here's your C note. So the black note to the right of it is called a sharp. And so it'd be called a C sharp. Black note to the right of a D is called a D sharp. Black note to the right of an F is called an F sharp. Same thing, here's your G, G sharp, A, A sharp. Now if it's to the left of a note, it's called a flat. So if you start at B, it's called a B flat. And you go back to A, to the left, it's called an A flat, G, G flat, you go to E, E flat, D, uh, D flat. So that's how it works, it's either a sharp or a flat. So if you look at this note, it's either a C sharp or it's a D flat. D sharp and an E flat, F sharp, G flat, G sharp, A flat, A sharp, B flat. So that's why it can be a little bit confusing just based on the white notes below it. And so if you take all 12 notes and you wanna play them as sharps, here's how it looks. So it's A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp. Now if you wanna play them again as flats, it looks like this. A, B flat, B, C, D flat, D, E flat, E, F, G flat, G, A flat, and then you're back to A. So one thing you'll notice that there's not a black note in between B and C, and also there's not a black note between E and F. So it's not very common that you would see B sharp, C flat, E sharp, F flat, just because there's not a black note in between there. So that's just something to keep in mind. So the idea of this lesson is you want to be able to find uh, the notes as quickly as possible. So a good way to do that is just, you'll notice that the black notes are in groups of three and two and three and two. Um, and so what you can do is if it's in a group of two, just look to the white note to the left of it, and then that's your C. Find your group of three, just to the left of it, and that's an F. So C, F, C, F, C, F. And then from there, if say you hit this note, you can work down from C, so C, B, A, you can work your way up from F, G, A, um, and you can find the notes. Ideally though, what you wanna do is you, you want to be able to not have to use the alphabet and count up or down to find the note. You really just wanna look at it and know exactly what that is. So that does take practice. So a good practice tip that I, that I can show you, um, it's simple, it's just you close your eyes and you find any key in the piano and you just press it, open your eyes and you, you look at it and, and that's a C. So same thing, you can go down here, hit a note, you now that's a G sharp and an A flat. So again, black notes are gonna have two names, so you wanna practice that, um, whether it's a sharp or a flat, and just practice that over and over. So ideally, hopefully less than a second, you open your eyes, you know what this note is, what this note is, what this note is, and the more familiar you, you get yourself with it, uh, just the easier the next lessons are gonna be. So I hope that helps uh, practice, and I'll see you in lesson two.